funny. Well, it's... <clears throat> that didn't start out right. <clears throat> All right. I'm ready now. So it's 5.30 in the morning and I may or may not have stayed up uh, doing doing my makeup and maybe even mildly my hair like Sweeney Todd. I just, I don't know, I can't sleep and I've just had a frustrating weekend. In my mind, it's still the weekend, even though it's probably definitely Tuesday at this point. I just, what is Earth? So I didn't really intend to film a video in this fashion, but I'm still pretty wired and it took me like, 40 minutes to do this, which I may regret filming this later. I don't know. I don't really know how it translates, like, on the on the live filming. It looks, you know, pretty good in person. Good for my skills in person. And uh, it looks pretty cool on still photos when I can kind of, like, get up to the light and make myself look more pale. And then with the assistance of Photoshop, I'm sure all kinds of magic will happen, but I don't know, like, real time looking at my face. I did put fake eyelashes on, like the little, the little baby ones on the corner, because, I mean, if I was gonna be a psychotic murderer and slit the throats of all of my worldly enemies, I would certainly want to do it with fabulous looking lashes. I was playing around with some new makeup that I actually gave you guys a sneak peek of on Instagram. I don't know some days ago. I just kind of wanted to do a different look with it and just play around with my makeup. I don't know, I watched Sweeney Todd earlier today and it's like the first time I've watched it in probably over a year and a half and I was like, you know what? I've already got the hair. Why not let's just go for the face? Anyways, I... Ugh, mm, ugh, I almost just dropped it all. I got some new makeup from Tarte the other day, and it was goodies that they sent to me, and honestly, I feel so fortunate and so blessed to have received this stuff. They didn't ask me to make a video about it. I just asked you guys if y'all would be interested on Instagram. I think I got over 200 comments saying, yeah, yes, that y'all would definitely be interested in hearing about it, which I honestly was delighted to get that response because even if a company sends me something, like, it, I don't know. It's like, uh, it's, Tarte is like one of my all-time favorite makeup brands, and I discovered them by happenstance, but they're like, maybe currently my most used makeup brand to be honest and it just kind of sucks because I guess some people and I don't know how other people handle things on YouTube but whether something is sent to me or whether I purchase it on my own I'm not gonna come on here and lie to you guys there's really no benefit at all for me to do that they're not paying me they sent me some stuff to try they didn't ask me to make a video about it I feel like making a video about it because I make videos because I like to share things with my swamp family and with my friends and I just like to talk about things that I like still. I don't know. It's like I really liked it before, now I have some extra stuff to try out and so I can figure out that I like more things. I don't know if that makes any sense. I just wanted to say that and clarify before people like, I don't... I don't know. We're not gonna talk about it. All of the stuff on my face right now is tart with the exception of the eyeliner and my brow pencil and mascara. But Oh yeah, no, that, that falls under the category of eyeliner. I was like, the red stuff, but that's eyeliner. And I used all the new stuff that they sent me. And this is kind of also... I don't know, a lot of you guys were saying you were interested in me showing what I got and kind of doing a little bit of a review or I guess a sampling because this is the new stuff for fall and so this will kind of give you guys a sneak peek I guess in case you really love Tarte too and you're just kind of wondering what's out there. I think that all this stuff is available in the stores though. I got sent two palettes. This is the Call of the Wild palette which I believe is their newest one and then and this is the Amazonian palette. Cor correct me. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, Amazon Escape. There we go. One of these you can get, I think, exclusively at Ulta, and the other one is maybe exclusively at Sephora. I'm not sure. I was kind of like looking up some of this stuff online the other day, so maybe I could make something that sounds more 
professional. And then I went and colored my face purple like Sweeney Todd. Just, I, that's probably not what these palettes are intended for, but whatever. I just do what the hell I want. So I made them Sweeney Todd palettes. You could do the same. I guess I'll just give you guys an overview of some of their stuff I'm going to be showing you and then I can, I'll do some swatches for you guys. I'm actually going to do swatches this time because I thought that that would be, you know, logical. The next thing that I got were two blushes and this one I have literally been dying to try so I'm so glad that they sent this one. It's in the shade Blushing Bride and that is actually what I have on right now and this is the blush I've been using for like a week straight now and then one day in the past week I've used this one which is just another gorgeous color and this one is called flush. <laughs> the last three things that I have to show you guys. Oh, and I've, I've saved the packaging for this video. So I have used it. It is on my face. These are two primers and one is the Clean Slate Flawless Primer, which is just basically like a skin perfecter. It makes your skin smoother. You know, it reduces the appearance of pores. And then this one is the Poreless... Oh my god, I've lost a nail. Well impressed. I am currently not impressed. What happened? How long has this been going on? For how many minutes have I been doing this? Like a jackass. Uh, hang on. Let me, let me stick a new one back on. Just took him. Tea break. All fixed. All right. Now I can, now I can properly point at things like a classy, well-manicured lady. Even though these are plastic. I do love my plastic nails. And why? The other thing is basically like this one. It also is a pore perfecting pore. Pore eliminating makes less pores on your face. But this one also has brightening elements to it. So it kind of, it kind of makes your skin glowy, dewy, while making it look perfect. Kill two birds with one stone. Um, or you could just not kill any birds at all. You could kill two mutants with one stone. Um, I don't know. And then the last thing which to create this look is the first time I've tried this product out tonight, but this is the Clean Slate 360 Creaseless 12 Hour Smoothing Eye Primer. So it just kind of primes your lids for your eyeshadow, makes it adhere to your face a little bit better. We all want that. Just looking for this stuff. Oh, you can probably totally see that I have extensions badly put in my face right now. Oh, found my nail. The other two Tarte products that I'm using right now that I actually have like prior to getting this stuff is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Bronzer. I love this bronzer especially for like more extreme or dramatic looks because it is a little bit darker I think than other bronzers on the market or maybe it's just the shade that I have which is Park Avenue Princess. We all want to be a Park Avenue Princess. Actually I don't want to be a princess. I just want to be Sweeney Todd. I have been really using this bronzer a lot this summer especially you know because it's summer and I actually wish that I had pigment in my skin or something and not just paleness but money can't buy you love. That made no sense just then. The other product that I'm using is on my lips, which is the Tarte Lip Surgeon's Natural Matte Lip Tint. This is what I always call the chubby matte lip pencil. I've used this color so, so, so much. It is in the shade Envy. It's a really nice not extreme color in my opinion. You know, it kind of, at least for my lips, it's almost like just a slight enhancement of a flushy tone. It's not really, you know, too dramatic like my red lip really is, but it's not just like not having anything on my lips. I don't know. I really like this one. It's a good shade. Now I can actually tell you guys the different products that I've been trying out and my opinions about them. This one I cannot tell you guys about yet. I've not used the brightening primer. I've just used the pore perfecting primer. So this one I'll have to like come back and tell you guys because I cannot really give you an honest opinion about a product I haven't used. This primer I have used. I don't have it on now but let's let's actually 
actually take it out of the box, shall we? That'd be great. Instead of just jiggling a box around. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Jiggle a box around. That does not sound right. First of all, I really have to say that the packaging is really cute in my opinion. First of all, it's purple. Purple is my favorite freaking color. And I really like this bamboo textured cap, I guess. I think it, it really is wood. It very well may be bamboo. I don't, I don't really know. The Poreless Perfecting Primer or, you know, a, a product kind of like this that I've been using for a while is the Yves Saint Laurent Top Secrets. This is a good product and all, but I have to say that the thing that I've never really liked too much is the brush, just because I don't really feel like I'm getting that good of an application. This is actually less expensive than Yves Saint Laurent, and it is just as effective in my opinion and I kind of like I know that I said in the past that I don't like squeeze it tubes but I'm kind of learning how to manage and apply products in squeezy tubes and I can kind of see how maybe especially listening to you guys in previous comments about why companies put products in squeeze it tubes to make them more sanitary and stuff like that I've really kind of educated myself through you guys and I'm kind of thinking that maybe it is maybe a good thing. Plus I feel like I get a little bit better application and you know I can assure by using my fingers to apply it that it is like evenly getting on my facial area. I'm just noticing on the back of the package it says that it's waterproof so that's pretty cool. You could go swimming in it. The next product I tried for the first time tonight and the packaging looks similar to, you know, the, the facial poreless primer, but this is the eyeshadow primer base and once again, squeezy tube. I've only tried two other eyeshadow primer things in the past and that was Urban Decay's primer potion which used to come in the magical genie tube with a wand. Ever since they changed the packaging though it seems like they changed the formula and then the other one that I tried I actually got a free sample of from one of those little Sephora giveaway things and that was the NARS one and it was so weird and I think I talked about that in a haul or something. I said when I first got it that I really really liked that primer because once again it had a wand but it was really really weird it's like I used it three times and then it really became like very very thin like the consistency when I was painting it on my eyelids it was almost like I was just painting some kind of water it's like I started out really really loving it and then after I used it a couple times I was like yeah this is the third eyeshadow primer that I have ever tried in my life and I have to say that when I first put a little bit on my hand I was skeptical because it kind of has the consistency of sunscreen but once I started to apply it, I was really pretty impressed with how the whole thing went and then once I got the eyeshadow on, how it looks and everything else. With the consistency being the way that it is, a little bit of this goes a long, long way. And looking on the back, which I actually learned this from That Is Rad and I, I'm just gonna spread this little tip because I had no idea what this ever meant until she made a video on this I think like way over a year ago but there's little jars on the backs of most products this little jar it has a number in it and that tells you how long a product lasts and so this says that it's good for 12 months and I really think that if you bought this this would honestly be the only primer that you would need all year because this you know this is a 11 gram tube 0.39 ounces it says a really tiny tiny little bit goes a long way like I will show you guys honestly how much I used for like to do one eye see that tiny tiny little dot yes that was all it took to do like an entire eyelid it was insane but as soon as I started putting it on I was like well this really covers 
good. Being as how I told you guys how I'm really warming up to squeezy tube products, I think that this is going to be my new favorite. The blushes, I guess I don't really need to talk about too, too much, except for I will say that I have never, ever, before I started using Tarte products, had heard of Amazonian clay, but the bronzer is Amazonian clay as well, and I've been using this for several months. God, my hair is really... I kind of look like Beethoven on crack. This is Amaz Amazonian clay as well, and I've really been digging this, you know, for about four or five months, so I was really excited to try Amazonian clay blushes. I really, really am loving these. You just get amazing color. Um, these stupid nails ruining everything tonight. Ooh, I just sounded like that Amish guy just in everything. <laughs> this color is the color that I have really been wanting to try for Evs, and this once again is Blushing Bride, and I really kind of wanted to try, you know, a not so rosy pink color, especially with fall coming, and I thought that this shade would also look really good with kind of my dark burgundy blood red lipsticks, so this I've been wearing a lot lately, you know, ever since I've had it for like the span of a week, and I really love it. I have it on now, and I think it's a really good, uh, good, good thing with the rest of the things going on on my face right now. And then this is the flush shade, which is a very, very, very bright rosy pink color. It's gorgeous, and a little bit of this goes a long way. I literally just dusted on just a little, little bit. It, and it really just, I don't know, it was really glowy and rosy and pink and it almost kind of reminded me, at least on my complexion, I used to use Nor Nors's, orgasm, Nars's Orgasm Blush and this, at least on my skin, is comparable to that, roughly almost the same shading, maybe a little bit brighter. I really, really like it. Last but not least, I saved these guys for last because honestly, I'm the most excited about these. I've honestly not really played, did I just say honestly, like 18 times? Honestly, 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 I safety pinned a 20 cent shirt from the thrift store to do this. this is Beethoven on crack. That's definitely what I look like at this point. Honestly, honestly, I haven't had any new eyeshadows to play around with or what have you. I don't know. Just nothing really has been catching my eye. So I am so grateful to be able to try these and it's kind of, I don't know, making me want to put makeup on again. The closer it gets to fall, the more I actually want to do stuff because it's not like roasting horrid hot anymore. I'm going to swatch the colors that I use to create this look and this comes with six eyeshadows and two blushes. This is what the inside of the palette looks like and they give you this little like plastic thing which you cannot see. Maybe if I put it over my face. This is what tells you the different shades. So the colors that I'm using right now, because this is kind of why I say it's a Sweeney Todd inspired look, I think for my skin like it looks a little bit better to go with the purples and, and not so much. I don't know, like, uh, like his makeup in the movie looks really kind of more almost golden brownish kind of stuff and I just wanted to look all like bruised and purpley, I guess. To do a lot of the purple stuff that you're seeing right now, I actually layered purple eyeshadow on before I put my foundation on and then kind of like went back and colored in some mouse stuff after. Colored in, like my face is a coloring book. A lot of the purple that you're seeing on my face right now is this color right here in the corner which is called tribal. It doesn't really look the same I don't think without the primer on there uh, but there you have it. That's kind of the grape color. And then I went through and put to kind of like blend and lighten up the brow area I used this really pretty kind of bronzy light I don't know kind of brown beigey, golden. I'm just gonna say all the colors right now. And that shade is called Rare. Now I have no idea if you can get these separate. Like if you just wanted one color out of this palette. I bet not, honestly, but I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe if you go to Tarte.com. I don't know. I'm gonna try and like 
I don't know, I'll do like one more swatch. I'm really sucky at swatching things. I'm sorry, if you've been on my channel for a while, you know this. And if you haven't, God, if this is your first time seeing me on YouTube, what must you be thinking? I can't imagine people like not already being a part of my lunacy and like clicking on the thumbnail where I'm like, swing it on. This is the color, oh my God, cannot twist wrist. How am I gonna do it? I don't know. God, where is it? I've lost it now. I've lost my arm. Mm. Right, right here. As I'm going to break my bones for you guys. This is the beautiful bronzy color. It just took me like 20 minutes to swatch that, so I shan't swatch anymore out of this palette. I think that this is like really good for all different ages because it's really neutral colors that you really don't have to go this dramatic with it, obviously. But the other great thing that I, well, two, two other things that I thought was cool about this palette is that it offers some matte shades and some kind of like shimmer shades. I also really like that the shades that do have shimmer, it's not like overpowering glitter kind of stuff. The other thing that I really liked about this palette, because for people like my mom, like my mom doesn't really wear makeup that often, but sometimes when she does buy new makeup to try out or whatever, she buys a palette because it kind of gives you a lot of different options. And the thing that I thought differentiated this palette from other palettes that I thought was really cool for beginners gives you this little chart. And I've never seen another palette that comes with something like this, but it actually has like a little chart and little suggestions of what kind of looks you can create and where to put what shades and I thought that that was really cool. I'm actually going to show this to my mom and see like what she can do with this and uh, see what kind of looks that she can create because sometimes I like to share my makeup with my mommy. That is the Amazon Escape palette which is also in this like really cool little thing. I don't even know like if there was a credit card slot in here, I'd totally say you can like, I don't know, like if you're one of those people that goes clubbing, you could just be like, oh, all right. I don't know. I, I don't, I've, I think I've been to a club like two times in my life. Ugh, recluse. I think I've had way too many of these today. I've had five. That's not even, that shouldn't happen. I did it anyway. Ha ha ha. It's like Pringles. Once you pop, you can't stop. Um, God, how is this, this is just, how is this happening? At this point, I just want to pin these suckers back. Get back there, bangs. Last but not least is the new Call of the Wild palette. It reminds me of that guy that went hiking that time. Well, I don't know. I guess he just wanted to, like, give up on life and live in the woods or something. God, I had to read that for a class forever. Traumatic. And then they made a movie about it. Oh, my God. Alexander Supertramp. What was that book? Call of the Wild. Into the Wild. Running, running in a bus and dying. I don't know. It was really intense. It was horrible. Don't watch it or read it. I used only one shade out of this palette to create this look. And once again, I thought that this went really well with the look I was trying to create because it's kind of like a rusty kind of purpley brownish kind of color. color. Can you guys see that? Oh, I don't even know. I'm just gonna like awkwardly tilt my head into the camera. You guys can probably see my lashes falling off at this point. Things just get glamorous at six in the morning. Ha ha ha. I swatched it. Why did I? God, it's like I can't just put, well, maybe it's because I have a tattoo there. I don't know. Stupidity abounds. So that is it right there. Nice, kind of brownish, rusty, almost maybe with a plum purple overtone in it. I don't know. I feel like I've not been looking at the camera like for 90% of this video. Has that happened? Have I just been like there and there? And then I've got my wonky eye. One of my eyes is partially lazy. These have such cute little names too, like meow. Don't you just want to wear something that's called meow? I know I do. Um, I'm actually really looking forward to trying this shade next, which is this gray shade, which is called what are you called? Primal. That is this shade right up here. And I don't know what kind of like crazy look I can do with this, but 
I'm sure I'll come up with something bonkers. This video has absolutely been ridiculously long. I'm sorry for that. Sorry I'm not sorry. This was not today's originally planned video. Today's originally planned video was gonna be like my back to school advice vlog and I recorded that earlier today uh, dressed as a pirate. I don't know. It's just, it's only 78 days till Halloween. I just, you know, why wait till it gets any closer to start playing dress up. That one may be lost in the sands of time because I, I kept saying everything stupid. A good message executed poorly does not get across to anyone, if that makes any sense. So I don't know. I may try and refilm it. I may scrap it. I don't really know what's happening at any given moment. In any case, I hope you guys liked this video. I would love feedback on uh, these different products, if it's stuff that you guys have used, if it's stuff that you guys are interested in trying. I, I hope that I executed this somewhat goodly. And I also of course love feedback on uh on my on my little look here. It was at least fun to do and it took my mind off of being frustrated, which is always good. I don't know. Uh some nights I like to to play with makeup now instead of driving around aimlessly. I recommend it. I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys are all doing well. I know some of you are scar scar starting skill uh starting school tomorrow slash today and I hope that goes well for you guys. I hope you guys have a great year and that all your dreams come true. I wish each and every one of you the absolute best in life. Ugh, these eyelashes have really worn out their welcome. I just feel like I'm trying to like, I don't know. Anyway, I'm done now. See you guys tomorrow. I think I'll do a shoe unboxing tomorrow or something. I don't know. I've been promising you guys that kind of stuff for like weeks now too. I'm just, I'm behind on everything. Never doing another judging contest again in my life. If you want, please take a minute to subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. If you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyard girl. And if you want, you can uh, follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyard girl. And I will see you guys later. Bye. Ugh, stupid way. Bye. Okay. Oh, I almost just turned the lamps off. Like, that's gonna make the camera stop camera-ing filming. Stop camera-ing, okay? Mm.